Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm here with another episode for my May makeup series. Today, I'm going to do a look that I typically wouldn't do, and I haven't really done this kind of look before. We're going to attempt a rainbow eye look. Now, I'm not no James Charles, so I'm not going to do anything too extreme. What is this? But we will be using his palette today. So I'm not going to talk for too long, so I'm just going to hop right into this video. Like always, all the products that I use in today's makeup look will be in the description below. So go ahead and check that out and let's get started. Diving right into the eyes, I already did my brows off camera and prepped my lids using the flashback shade in the James Charles palette. This is going to give us a nice base to work off of and really make these colors pop. To start off this look, we're going to use the shade B, which is a nice bright yellow color. And we're going to put this on the first third of our eyelid and work it into our crease. So as you can see, I just put this on the first third of my eyelid and blended it up into my crease. Next, we're going to go in with the shade 518, which is a nice bright orange in the palette. And we're going to put this in the center and blend it into the yellow. Next, I'm taking the shade Code James and overlaying that on the 518 to darken it up. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of the shade You Are Kidding and put this right next to that orange. I'm going to mix in a little bit of the shade Rusted. Next, on a different brush, I'm picking up the shade Skip, which is a nice hot pink, and this is going to go right in the outer corner. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just blend this out. I'm going to take the shade Rusted again and just help transition the shades. Alright, taking a quick break from the eyes, we're going to move on to the face. So I cleaned my under eye up and we are going to prime. Moving on to foundation, I'm just taking my Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. I recently tried this foundation and I really like it considering that I have dry skin and I really like how this reacts to my skin. Moving on to concealer. I'm going to bronze using the Benefit Hula Bronzer in Caramel. Next, I'm going to take the Benefit Hula Bronzer Original one to contour. We're gonna go back to the eyes and we're going to do our lower lash line now. So we're going to pick up the shade Daddy. For the middle of the lower lash line, I'm gonna pick up the shade Brother, which is a nice deep blue shade. And for the outer portion, we're gonna pick up the shade Single. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Escape just to deepen that up. I'm gonna go in with Flashback for the inner corner and the brow bone. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of makeup remover and clean things 
this up. All right, so off camera, I just did some winged liner using this Tarte Gel Liner, and I did a white liner on my waterline. I'm going to quickly do some lashes, and we'll finish up the face, and then we'll be done. All right, for lashes today, I went and used the Kiss Lash Couture Naked Drama Lashes in the Style Tool. And to blend them in with my real lashes and for my bottom lashes, I used my Maybelline The Rocket Mascara. We're gonna go ahead and highlight our face so it would make perfect sense to use the James Charles Morphe palette and use the shade Face for our highlight. And for lips today, I think we're gonna go with a nice, bold red lip. So for lip liner, I'm using the NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Color Lip Liner. Wow, what a name. And this is in the shade Red Tape. And for lipstick, we're going in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in the shade Monte Carlo. And to finish this look off and seal everything in, I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Alright guys, and this is the finished look. What do you think? I do have to say I've been really inspired by James's new Instant Influencer series. I gotta say, I'm really proud of myself. I don't think I could have ever pulled off this kind of makeup look before, and so yeah, I keep looking at myself in the mirror. I definitely really like this whole idea of trying out new makeup looks that I normally wouldn't do before because I'm not gonna do this kind of makeup look for school or just to like go out for nothing. So I really like challenging myself and pushing myself to try new looks like this. And I challenge you to do the same. So that is all for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to check out the description below for all the products that I used as well as my social media. And I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye.